I thought we could give people an update about what we'd done to the G4 before we'd set off on our uh, on our massive road trip to Morocco. So the massive road trip covers what we were working out, 8,600 kilometres by the time we get yeah, back? Yeah, I think that was what we concluded, wasn't it? So it's a fair old trek. Uh, this is a standard G4, whilst it's a G4, um, the only differences between a G4 and a normal Discovery 3, apart from the fact that it's orange and got a load of stickers over it, uh, is that it has a winch and a raised air intake. Other and, than that, and an expo rack. And an expo rack. Other than that, it's the same as any other Discovery 3 that's out there. And some spotlights on the expo rack. So you could take your Discovery 3 pretty much uh, anywhere. Preparation we've done on this over the last couple of weeks. Checked oil levels, diff oil levels, gearbox oil levels. Um, you would have probably seen the brake um, uh, videos that we, we've done, so we've changed all of the brakes. You don't need to change all of the brakes, but you certainly do need to check the brakes, so check the thickness of your brake pads, uh, make sure the fluid's in good condition. Uh, we've changed all of those um, on the, uh, the Body Brake Bible video. Um, more of those will be coming out at some point in the uh, future. Uh, but other than that, we've changed various other bits with the rear prop shaft. Yeah, the centre bearing was uh, well and truly gone on that. Um, swapped it for a full GKN rear prop. Uh, when we took it off, the uh, universal joint at the uh, rear of the prop shaft was really dry and quite notchy and the joint at the transfer box end was starting to leak grease as well, so... Uh, and that had been on for 90,000 miles? 90,000 miles that's done, yeah. Nine, nine and a half years that's been on the car for. So that's not bad, doesn't owe me anything. Um, we've also done uh, front lower suspension arms. Drop links. Rear drop links, yeah. Drop links, as always, are a bit of a, a pain to get off because uh, there's so much crud that ends up on the thread that you really need to clean the thread off, get as much rubbish as you can off of the thread to get it out. Um, and uh, quite often you'll still end up cutting them off anyway. Uh, what else have we had? We've had a, uh, a dust cover on the uh, rear suspension strut. That was uh, tired and ripped. And full of mud from uh, Salisbury Plains and various other trips from, uh, from the past. It was indeed. Uh, better four wheel alignment done. Obviously after doing the uh, front lower arms. We've also bought a selfie stick so we can do videos like this while we're on the move, but Ian's lost it. So um, One day in and it's uh, it'll be somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. It just doesn't appear to be. Not necessarily in the front of the car. No. It's not annoying at all. No. What else have we done, Manine? Have we done anything else? Uh, check the winch, make sure the winch was working, put a new yeah. plasma rope on the winch. Yeah. Um, gearbox, uh, yeah, ch checked all the gearbox oil level, checked the engine oil level, in fact changed the engine oil. Yeah. Um, topped up with coolant, uh, just need a little bit of coolant added. Filled up with fuel. I filled up with fuel Does again. That count? Does and that then count? we've done that several times. Yeah. Um, and then inside, we've uh, removed two rear seats. Built a, uh, a frame to uh, that's level with the tailgate. Level with the tailgate. Level with the boot floor. 
to cater for our additional passenger yeah. in the back. That's uh, allowed us to uh, squirrel away a bit more kit where the seats would have gone, but still left us with a seat for Max in the back. But you can see that we are uh, quite full. Uh, Max is our resident DJ and uh, has the Morocco Can playlist uh, going on. Oh, we've also put some 18-inch wheels on, some copper motives, because the 18-inch uh, tyres are far easier to come by in uh, Morocco than 19-inch that come as standard on the G4. Also a little bit less prone to sidewall damage when compared to the 19s. And uh, added an assortment of uh, iPad mountings in various places uh, to uh, to be able to hang um, torches from. This is our ex very expensive torch hanging system. Uh, CB speaker, so we can hear the uh, CB uh, a little bit better. And uh, we're using ram mount kit. It's just uh, pretty sturdy and does the job that it needs to do. Um, also got a RAM mount adapter for the phone. You sure we've got a RAM mount adapter for the phone? Yeah, it says sure a RAM. Quad, a ra sure we've not got a quad lock adapter for the phone? Ah, uh, yeah, quad lock adapter for the phone. It's definitely quad lock. And the iPad over the uh, Land Rover screen is just held in place with a magnet. Which works well. We tend not to use the Land Rover sat nav mainly because it, it doesn't generally navigate you anywhere useful. Um, so we'll have uh, one iPad with uh, road navigation on it and the other iPad with uh, off road navigation. So we we'll usually use Google Maps or Waze for the road navigation and we will use Gaia for. Uh, the off-road navigation. We've tried all sorts of systems over the years, Comp GPS, Memory Map, 2 Nav. What else have we used Ian? Uh, well for the UK you could just use the normal uh, OS Maps app. Yes, but, uh, that a bit as well. wider further afield. Um, Gaia seems to be uh, seems to be meeting our requirements and it's uh, it's pretty cheap. Um, and it's quite well written isn't it? It's got its foibles but uh, yeah. The usability of it far exceeds the, uh, the user-friendly or the lack of user-friendliness for 2Nav. Uh, we'll put some links in the video for, uh, for Gaia because uh, you can uh, find it if you want to use it then. Uh, we've obviously got a CB uh, as well for inter-car communications. Uh, it just makes things a little bit easier to uh, make sure that everybody knows where they're going and it can uh, help alleviate the boredom when you're travelling for several hundred into the thousands of miles. The time can go a little bit slow. It doesn't work that well when you've been not concentrating on the gap between us and the other cars in front. And then have got a mile in front of us. But, uh, So there you go, that's just a quick little update.